Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy new year and happy 2016. So I'm all bundled up here in New York City in the middle of a blizzard. So I decided to do some videos for 2016. So today I'll be starting with a five minute face tutorial, which is one of my signature videos. And I'll be using all Charlotte Tilbury products today. So I'm absolutely in love with this line and I just did a huge um, stocking of my kit. So I have lots of products to share with you. So I will get started with the signature Charlotte Tilbury magic cream which is an industry secret um, this is something she's been using for over 20 years and when I worked backstage she always had a little you know tiny jar and we were always wondering what was you know in it so she's actually formulated and marketed it for sale and it is a hundred dollars for this size which is an amazing value and I just love it because it's a real quick pick-me-up for the skin um, it's like eight hours of sleep and eight seconds um, you know tall drink of water so if your skin is tired fatigued hydrated dry dehydrated if you're you know, traveling, flying, tired, just had a late night. Um, it's a great one, two, three out the door. But I also love it because it's a great makeup prep. Um, and it's also loaded with um, antioxidants. Um, it's also loaded with hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, C, and E, and a peptide complex. So definitely love it. And I will be pairing it today with the Light Wonder Foundation in shade four. And this is absolutely my new favorite foundation and I've been through many so first of all I love the price um, it's $45 um, I love that it is like a BB cream and a foundation in one because it's a treatment it hydrates it moisturizes it has an actual botanical form of retinol so it's great for wrinkles and plumping the skin um, it's light diffusing um, great coverage great finish um, it doesn't dry it doesn't cake it doesn't flake and it's 18 hour wear so it's an absolute new favorite of mine and my other new love is the Charlotte Tilbury retoucher so of course this looks very familiar like the YSL Touche Hot Pen but it is not the YSL Touche Hot Pen it is even better so what I love about it is paraben free which YSL is not um, cheaper $35 um, it does everything all in one step so it highlights it conceals and hydrates all in one step. So the thing about Touche Claw is that it was a great product, but a lot of times I had to do an extra step, like extra concealer or add a moisturizer. This, one, two, three, and go. Under the eyes, you know, any little imperfections can touch up throughout the day. Can't leave home without it. Has to be in your makeup bag. Uh, the next part will be a quick eye application with a cream eyeshadow pot. Um, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow pot um, infused with water and vitamin E. So it goes on cooling and hydrating to the eye but it also smooths out the eye surface and is crease proof and it dries to um, a nice water resistant finish and it's like bulletproof and crease proof. So once it's on, it's on. You have to work fast, but you can use your, your fingertips, which is nice. And this is $32. And of course, finishing with mascara um, is always a must. And this is the um, five star full fat lashes, which I've used before. So this lifts curls length and adds volume all in one step 29 bucks and last but not least is the lips so what i love about um, this actual lip pencil from charlotte is it's 22 dollars. it's paraben free but it's also hydrating it has vitamin e and nova seed oil in it so it's not going to dry out the lips and i like to use a technique where i actually you know give nice fullness to the lips with the liner and then fill in the whole lip um, to help prevent feathering and help for prevent transfer and help prevent having to do touch-ups a lot throughout the day and this is a six hour wear so this combined with the gorgeous kissing tree lipstick in bitch perfect which I love the name um, and also this is cheaper than most um, prestige brands as well highly pigmented highly moisturizing and has natural UV protection so Let's get started. Um, the first thing I will be doing, obviously, is applying the Magic Cream to my skin. So I'll come in a little bit closer. You can see I kind of had a late night last night and I was out in the cold. So skin is a little bit fatigued, a um, little bit blotchy, you know, a little bit of darkness under the eyes. Actually, the lips are a little bit dry too. So the way I like to apply this cream is um, take a small amount, um, actually with my fingertips, put a little on the back of my hand, um, and then start by getting, um, you know, some of my fingertips together and just kind of start really massaging it into the skin in upward motions, kind of like a facial. Avoiding the, the actual eye area underneath the eye area because this is for the face. Kind of just blending out 
I'm just gonna do one side. Again, just kind of working it in to the skin, just kind of pressing it in, working it into the skin. You can see just with that little application, and I also like to go along the jawline too, and just kind of, this can actually drain any fluid that may be going on. Little lymphatic massage, little neck and decollete, and just kind of really work that into the skin. And you can see actually even just a little more in this area, not going near the eye, but just where a little bit of that fatigue is. It feels so good. It's really, really cooling and hydrating and it smells really good too. It has camellia flower oil in it, which is really nice. And you can see it's already just giving like life to the skin. You can see it kind of just is really nice and glowy and the other side kind of looks dull. So let's finish. Just kind of going in, up the motions, again across the forehead, and then you can actually work it in the center. Sometimes I still have a little bit of those lines come out. Work it across, kind of press it more into the skin. Actually, I'm gonna just do a little bit on the lips. Okay, I'll just get that all worked nicely into the skin. Neck and decollete. And you can see already, I actually just feel more awake. Um, so it looks really, really beautiful. Okay, next we're going to do the foundation. So of course, I always use a foundation brush and I'm using my Eco Tools brush, which is synthetic brush, cruelty free, no animal testing, no animal fibers. Um, so I always like to use a foundation brush. Again, little on the back of the hand because it warms up the product. Um, and also, just to remind you, really got to give this a good shake. So make sure that it's um, all the um, anti-aging ingredients and the pigments kind of, you know, mixed together. So you want to make sure that you shake it. Very small amount on the back of my hand. Here. This is for the face. Again, across the forehead. And then just start blending out. I mean, very small amount, but you can see as I'm working and kind of just, you know, stippling it, working it into the skin, the brush. And I kind of just like to get a nice even application and then it's fingertips, you know, kind of just work it nicely into the skin. Kind of come around the eye area. I'm gonna go back over that with the retoucher. But already you can see, just with that very small application, working it into the skin, just kind of get the neck, you know, get everything blended really nicely. I mean, how gorgeous is that? I mean, it's super natural, but I mean, it really just covered any imperfection that might have and it gives a really nice smooth texture and just it's just glowing and like gorgeous um i like to just press it into the skin just a little bit more just to kind of work it in and you see as it dries down it actually it's not matte but it dries nicely into the skin it is very even and uniform okay so again next one two three quick let's go out the door so the shade that i'm actually using is called marie antoinette and it's kind of more of like a coppery gold and again just gonna use my ring finger a little bit it's happening a little excess off on the back of my hand and just go in and gently work in to the crease up to the crease and just on the eyelid and again, this is not a smoky look. It's just more of a natural, everyday kind of look. So you just want to work it onto the eyelid. And you can kind of just fan it out. Just give a little more definition to the eye. But I mean, it's just pretty. It's, it's a nice little coppery gold. And to the other side. One, two, three. Again, you see I'm working with it very quickly because once it dries, it dries. 
and again just kind of fanning it out so again just super clean and natural but I mean it gives a lot of definition and pigment to the eye and then I like to actually take just a little bit and then just give a little definition to the eyelashes work that in it's just really pretty okay quick easy breezy right um, you can always even take your foundation brush and just blend a little bit more kind of just work it into the crease just give it a little more definition and then just clean up that little area blend it out okay and the reason why I did that and did the eyes first now I'm gonna go in with the retoucher and I'm just gonna twist up, get a little excess off, and I'm just gonna go in and just give a little bit more highlight there, give a little on the cheekbones. One, two, three, down the bridge of the nose, can always highlight a little bit more in the center. And again, just tap everything in, work it in nice and quick with the fingertips. Now you're going to see with this retoucher just working it in. Um, I mean, it's just an amazing, beautiful concealer. I mean, look, it's just, you can see the difference on the other side. It's just, I mean, it's completely highlighted and camouflaged, but it's super hydrating. Like I feel it actually hydrating instead of, you know, having any kind of dry texture. So work that in and again you can just go back over with your foundation brush and just work in anything that you need and voila and sometimes I get a little bit of redness around the nose so just work that in as well and to just do a little over the cupid's bow just to kind of bring out the lips a little bit more okay so as you can see just coming together really nice i mean it's like very ethereal i mean it just like gives such glow and warmth and beauty to the skin so looking a little unfinished so we gotta do of course an eyelash curl pop in with that kevin aquan lash curler catch those lashes in there and give it a nice good pump 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 and hold and then just release and there we've got some lashes now there we go and same thing on the other side one two three keep pumping pumping kind of hold and lift and we've got eyelashes next I'm gonna go right in with this mascara and I love it because you just you can see it just goes right onto those lashes and it's like instant gorgeous lashes and I like to just keep fanning out the edges and pop on to the other side and again you can actually pause and let them dry and with this is it you can build so you can go back and get an even more full lash look but I'm just for the sake of five minutes I'm just gonna go in and do one two three quick and then we're gonna go and just to find those little guys on the bottom we have that and then just work that in the lashes. now the last and final step of course is the lips so we are just going to go in with that lip liner like I said and we're going to start from the edge and just really define the lip make sure you always get in the corners there's no caps you can see it just already gives early nice definition and then I start filling it in okay making sure get a really nice shape to the lip and just the liner on its own is really pretty very pinky but the color I'm gonna use I like it because it's kind of like a it's like a peachy pinky coral 
So just pop a little lipstick on top. Oh, it's so hydrating. My lips are so dry. I hate this time of year. And voila, a beautiful, simple five minute face. And of course, the last step, you can use a powder. I actually haven't tried Charlotte's powder yet, so I'm a big fan of NARS Radiant Loose Powder. Just buff that in with a brush. Um, it'll just set everything um, and just take away any little extra shine, but it'll leave the skin um, luminous. You can see I need probably like a, just a little bit of powder in the center and maybe on the nose. But you know, five minutes, I mean, pretty gorgeous. So I hope everyone's staying warm in the blizzard if you're in New York and if you're somewhere warm on the beach, um, I hope you're enjoying it and I will be back with more videos. Happy 2016.